Good evening everybody. Welcome to Inkai's Home and Garden. This is the second part, part two of my uh, pork ribs. And this is what the dumplings look like guys. It's been cooking for almost 20 minutes. This is what the dumplings look like that I'm making. So, I'm going to scoop it guys. Put it over here on the bowl, like that. I'm gonna scoop all the dumplings on top. Okay, I'm going to scoop it, guys. Scoop all the dumplings. Sometimes I use, I cook dumplings too if I'm making beef stew. Chicken dumplings too. You wanna make chicken dumplings. This is so good, guys. It's pretty easy to make. Just biscuit and milk. And put it on top of your soup. Let it steam for at least 20 minutes. So this is what it look like guys, okay? My soup now is like that. The liquid is redu reduced. And this is what the dumplings look guys, okay? That's what the dumplings now. So now that the dumplings are out, I'm going to add my cabbage. See, the cabbage doesn't have to be cooked very long, guys. I don't like overcooked cabbage. Just mix it. And then I can Add uh, the green onions, guys. And I will cover it to finish cooking. To finish cooking the cabbage for a few minutes. That's what it is, guys. That's my soup. See? I'm just gonna cook it for a few minutes to cook the cabbage. Um, this is what the dumplings look like. I put it on the bowl. Oh, it's so good, guys. Let me taste my dumplings. See? Mmm. It's yummy. Very good, guys. Dumplings, yeah? Biscuit and milk. I 
It's so good, guys. Pretty easy to make dumplings. Biscuit and milk, mix it together. Make sure it's not much, it's not uh, watery. I just do calculation. I think I can do it right because I've been making this for so many years. And sometimes if I make uh, chicken and dumplings, that's what I do too. Uh, beef stew with dumplings, I do the same thing. My husband and my children, they like it, guys. So good. So far today, the weather is nice. Last night, it rained pretty good, a much needed rain. And then my flowers and vegetables were happy because they had a very good rain last night. That was a very, very good rain. I can hear it from inside my house. And then I put my umbrella up, both of the umbrella in my front yard and in, uh, in the backyard, my father you umbrella to rinse off the all the pollen that was collecting on the umbrella so that was good that I opened up my umbrella yesterday and it rained so hard it got washed off all the pollens so let me check guys my soup see guys as you can see the cabbage is ready it's not it's not too mushy. I'm gonna shut the burner off. See what happened with the soup? The the biscuit make the soup a little bit already uh like you put flour in it. It, it thickened it up the biscuit so I did not add any flour in her guys see guys can you see the ribs see it's very very tender already it's coming off from the from the bones and there's tomato oh, there's potato in here carrots and now it's ready to be plated. See my husband, he doesn't like the he doesn't like the carrots, so I'm just gonna scoop the carrots out. But he loves potato. I'm gonna move it over here guys so that away from the burner so the spare ribs would not oh cabbage would not get overcooked. See this is what it's gonna look like guys. My spare ribs soup. of the potato guys because my husband he don't like the carrots I I love carrots but he will eat the cabbage So this is guys my husband dinner tonight. I'm gonna 
gonna sit down and eat. And mine, I'm gonna put it on the bowl. So I can scoop everything in here. Cabbage. Carrots. guys this one here is mine okay see guys that's what the soup look like already after it's done okay guys I'm gonna show you what it look like now on the table okay so mine I eat it with rice my soup I ate it with rice and that's the soup the finished product pork spirit soup with potato carrots uh, cabbage and green onions and dumplings and that's what my husband is that's his dinner Okay, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my cooking. Let's eat. I'll see you soon on my next video. Bye for now. Have a good night. Bye.